Taurus, hey, what's up? It's Intuition Angel here reading for you guys for this week in July. So this will be the end of July, beginning of August. I hope everyone is doing okay. So this will be a general reading for you guys. It may or may not resonate for all Tauruses out there. Check your birth chart if it does not resonate. Go ahead and hit that like button down there for me, please, and thank you if it does, all right? And I'm also doing personal reading. You guys can contact me in the description box below, okay? So Taurus, let's see, someone's watching you guys, okay? Especially around this full moon going on. I feel like someone here, like, is trying to get something on you or something like that. Or they're trying to figure out a way to apologize to you, okay? Okay, so we have emotional withdrawal. Is someone that you're emotionally withdrawn from here? They don't feel like you're giving them any sort of attention. Um, they feel really lost without you, okay? All right, what else for Taurus? Angels. Okay, yeah, so we have temptation here. I didn't really necessarily get a good feeling from, you know, this person watching you or being tempted to come towards you. And it's mostly because I, I feel like this person has their own addictions that they have to deal with. I feel like this person wants you to deal with their addictions too. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. It's, I don't feel like this is a good vibe. We have transformation here, though. I feel like you guys are definitely transforming. You're changing. Um, I feel like there's an ending happening here, Taurus. Let me get one more. For Taurus. Yeah, so we have spiritual strength. I feel like you're way, way stronger than this temptation energy. I feel like this person can't tempt you. It's just not going to work. It's two different powers. It's just... Toxicity, this is just a lesson that you've learned already and it's coming back around, okay? So this could definitely be someone from your past. They're noticing that you're emotionally withdrawn from them. Yeah, we have spiritual union here in the reverse. So I feel like this is definitely a breakup or, you know, something that you just don't want anymore. So let's see, let's get deeper into this. Why is this person in your energy then? And tell me about emotional withdrawal here for Taurus. Emotional withdrawal, please, for Taurus. So we have, yeah, Ace of Air. I feel like you have a lot of clarity about the situation. This person can't really fool you either. Um, something about the truth, too. Yeah, we have decisions here in the reverse. Someone here uh, failed to make the right decision, pretty much. And I feel like maybe you two have went on two different paths. Okay. And tell me about temptation for Taurus. Thank you. Yeah, so we have control tactics. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. This person is coming back to simply control you. Okay. It could be at a Capricorn energy. That's what I just heard. Yeah, I feel like you're not talking to this person anymore. Messages is in the reverse. Tell me about control tactics. Tell me about control tactics for Taurus. Like, I get, like, abusive energy. Yeah, we have facade and beliefs. They want you to believe in what they believe in. What they believe in is pretty much controlling and it's, it's very low vibrational. It's actually kind of sick what they believe in. That's the a vibe that I'm getting from this, Taurus. It's actually kind of sick whatever they believe in. It's a facade, but it's a belief. They're not the only one that believes in it either. Clarify transformation for Taurus. Transformation for Taurus. I feel like when um, a, a belief is like running rampant, but it's, it's never the truth, but it's always running rampant, it's because it's an entity, okay? So it's definitely toxic. It's like a demon. We have seed with spring here, okay? And then we have messages and communication. This person still wants to, like, communicate with you, though. I feel like you're communicating with others, though. Yeah, yeah, guilt, sabotage. This person's trying to, like, maybe sabotage communication with others because they do feel like something here has ended, for them I feel like you're not communicating with them they want to communicate with you so bad though but I feel like you could have blocked them or something like that or they're definitely blocked in the 5d okay tell me about spiritual strength for Taurus yeah closed off guarded resistance you know how to resist this person now this is what this is how you this definitely was maybe your life lesson or maybe your life lesson now. Okay, so we have karma, justice here. This person is going through karma. But the scale, the scales are definitely balancing out, okay? I feel like you have a lot of clarity in whatever that you're doing right now. This person could be still in your energy trying to um, reel you back in, though, uh, Taurus. So let's see. What's going on for you guys? Holy 
Spirit and Angels, what is the energy right now for Taurus? What's the energy for Taurus? Okay, the Knight of Pentacles here in the reverse. Something here that was maybe stopped or delayed is not no longer stopped or delayed anymore. I'm getting something about money. Or I'm just getting something like someone tried to stop something and it didn't work. Pretty much. Okay, give me some more energy, please, for Taurus. Someone here is still coming in with an offer. It could be a, a Scorpio. I just heard Scorpio. It could also be Earth. Then we have uh, the death card in reverse. Someone does not, someone is resisting change. They can't accept the change that's happening here. So they're going to try to like come in and love bomb you. Knight of uh, Cups here is definitely love bombing energy here. And I'm also seeing Scorpio. So they could be like trying to be manipulative about it or trying to delay something or get in the way of an offer that you probably already have around you. That's for Taurus. Yeah, the world card. There's a cycle still closing here. All right. Um, you definitely learn from this. You're no, I, I'm getting from your guys' side, you're no longer stagnant anymore. Two of swords. This person doesn't know how to come to you now. They're a little bit uh, confused about something or they don't know what to do or where to turn or how to give you an offer. Because I feel like the, your spiritual strength they cannot accept this ending here, Taurus. Give me one more, please. For Taurus, then we'll clarify. The Hermit in the reverse. Someone here is coming out of Hermit mode. This is what I'm getting here, Taurus. I feel like this person has this deep hold on you or control on you. And I, I guess it has a lot to do with waiting, but you're no longer waiting anymore. I feel like you're just going to start your own journey by yourself. Or something along the lines of that. But this person likes to give you offers. Like I'm getting that this person gives you offers to like um, keep you in their control or to keep you from changing or to keep you to always be the same, keep you bonded to them, like, you know, bringing up memories or something like that. Give me the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse for Taurus. Oh. Knight of Pentacles, please, for Taurus. I just saw Virgo. Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. And the world. I feel like you guys are definitely working with some someone else here. You guys could be working with someone else. That could be some for some of you. But for others of you, this person sees you as the one that they can actually collaborate with. Um, King of Pentacles here, that's married loyal loyalty energy here. Dedication. Okay, I feel like you guys are very dedicated. And whatever that you're doing too it could be work you're single but this this king of pentacles here looks married like he looks like he's already established somewhere else but it's like he really wants to like come together to be with you this person is trying to like be on your level as a matter of fact they're they're like pretty much already on your level but at the same time they're like committed they're they look taken okay so we have the knight of cups why is the knight of cups here for taurus Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. There's a lot of court cards here. Ace of Wands here. So there could be another person here in the mix. But this person has deep feelings for you. They see you as the one that they want to commit to. The Queen of Cups there, or the Queen of uh, Pentacles here, I automatically thought of your energy, Taurus. They have deep feelings for you. They actually do want to give to you or commit to you or something like that. This could be someone totally different. I feel like someone here is going to try to stop that. Someone here is trying to stop an offer. This person could know the person that likes you or something like that. Something about the death in the reverse for Taurus. Because there's a lot of people here. We have the Nine of Cups, um, the Hermit, and the Ace of Wands. You guys are definitely going deep with it. I feel like you ghosted this person to do what you wanted to do. Um, to start something brand new. I feel like it's making this person want to go deep within two, but at the same time, they want to get closer to you. They feel like you're their wish fulfillment. Yeah, they feel like they're really driven to be next to you here. Yeah, we have the two of wands here at the bottom. I'm getting fire energy with this person. The fire sign. 
but I feel like they're trying to like go deep within about something but at the same time it's like it's like selfish energy it's like I, I don't feel like they're getting the point yeah we have a five okay wow so I feel like someone here is like worried about the money aspect of something Taurus <sighs> something could have happened already I'm, not, I'm just not picking up on it but I see something where there's people here there could be like two or three people this person was like giving to someone else or hiding feelings for someone else here. Tell me about the world, please, for Taurus. The world for Taurus. Temperance, the Six of Wands, and there's that Knight of Cups again. This person's coming right back around with another offer to get your attention. Um, they see you healing. You're doing a lot of healing right now, and they're trying to get your attention here. Heavy Scorpio. So I could be talking to a Taurus that's dealing with a Scorpio. But they just want your attention. This because they see you're, you're being very successful. You're very successful right now. And you're into loving yourself. And here they come back around. Sagittarius energy with the Temperance card there. Clarify the Two of Swords for Taurus. Queen of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. This person is conflicted about something here. And I feel like it. there could be another person here involved. Uh, this Queen of Cups energy. But with the Five of Swords, it's like... This Queen of Cups is jealous about your new start or about your blessing. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles for Taurus. You have a Nine of Swords. Someone here is like stressed out about what you got going on. Stressed about about this blessing here. They don't want to let you go, but I feel like there's there's a there's another female here with the Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords. It's like she's jealous of someone's um, stability, and it's making this person confused. Like they don't know what to do about it. All right, tell me about the Hermit in the Reverse. For Taurus. The Five of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. This person cannot go deep within. I feel like that's what I'm getting here. This person is like, they're not connected. Not like you. I feel like you're very comfortable wherever. You're very comfortable. I'm getting this real comfortable energy from you guys, Taurus. And this person here is conflicted, maybe dealing with a lot of things, very burdened, they're bored where they're at, they can't even get connected. They want to put all these burdens on you with the Ten of Wands here. I'm getting that there could be a lot of people involved here, and they don't like to be around these people. It could be like siblings, family, they're bored there, something like that. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. What's a burden? For Taurus. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Taurus? So I don't see you guys being burdened. Yeah, we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Something that they invested in is a burden now. It was a bad idea. It was a bad investment. So, yeah, it was something that they committed to. Yeah, they were married. They were married here. And the Eight of Pentacles here means that they were actually working on it. Something's been exposed here with the Sun card. Now they want to move on, and but they're watching you, and you're actually their love here, and that shocks them. All right, so this person is trying to be manipulative now. Whatever they're going through, it just wasn't working for them. Let's get some Moon Oracle, then we'll close this out for Taurus. I do feel like someone is working with someone for the money only. They don't want to let go of it or like this person is jealous. This other person, this Queen of Cups is jealous of you. And you're unbothered. We have, look at the bigger picture here. I feel like this person needs, they can't like, they can't get a good bird's eye view on their situation. All they see is a bunch of chaos and confusion, um, burdens weighing them down. And they need to look at the bigger picture about something because I feel like you guys see things perfect. You guys are coming off as perfect. They see you as perfect. Yeah, we have have faith in your dreams. 
what else for Taurus? Someone raising the famous, thank you. Okay, emotions are running high. So I feel like there's some fighting going on. There's a lot of uh, bad tension going on around this person. I don't feel like they the tension is around you, but I do feel like they could be trying to put all of that on you. But they're definitely burdened. They're not happy that you moved away or that there was a fight here. But I feel like there's something going on with money too. Okay, so that was your reading, Taurus. I hope this resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you. I'm going to stay by.